If you simply upload a reel from a desktop, you're not really able to edit or modify it at all. However, you can upload your reels from Meta and you can edit them right in Meta. And I'm gonna show you how in this video. Okay, so you're gonna start by going into your Instagram Facebook page and you're gonna to go to Meta's Business Suite. So this is where you're going to be able to create a reel from your desktop. If you don't have Meta Business Suite, you just have to sign up for it through your Facebook. You can have your page for your reels for your business and you can have your Instagram profile on here as well. So to create this, you're gonna to go to Create Reel and you're very limited in how you can edit here, but it does give a lot more freedom than just simply uploading. So what you can do in here is you can start by uploading your media. You get to upload up to three clips and order in which you upload matters because it's not going to allow you to change the order later. It will, however, allow you to trim your clips but only that clip, you can't splice or cut in the clip. You can just trim the beginning and the end of the clip and you're gonna be able to add some text to it as well and some music, but that's pretty much it. So let's start by thinking about how we're going to add our clips. So here I have three clips. I have this one of me walking on the beach. I have this one of this like epic view and then this one of me dancing on the beach. So I think I'm gonna start with the one of my legs. So let's open that one. So that will be the first clip. And then after that, let's have the beautiful view. And then we're going to go to me dancing and being happy. There we go. So there's the three videos that we can add. You can add your caption here. I strongly do suggest that you do add a caption. Just note that with captions, they are SEO friendly meaning the words that you use in your caption are gonna also help Instagram find what your reel is about and help them direct it to who, which audience they wanna show it to. So I suggest thinking of like key words that your audience is gonna be typing in or is thinking about and adding them into your description. Also here, if you're talking about something, make sure you repeat the word. So if I'm talking about it, Rather than say it in the description, I wanna say what it is. So if I'm talking about walking on the Tofino beach, the Tofino beach was epic, or whatever I do say about it, make sure you use the frill word. You can also choose your thumbnail. Here you can choose a thumbnail from the video itself. So you can click from the frames and choose which frame you want to show. So let's just select one. And then that's all you can do in this portion. So let's write a caption. It includes words my audience is interested in searching for. Perfect. So once I have this, I can click on edit up here. You can have for you, you can have new releases, you can search things for music. I am not going to be adding music to this because YouTube does not allow me to add music into my videos. If I do, I can get copyright. So I'm just gonna skip the music and say I did do music. Next up, you can switch between up here. So you can see I had audio, crop, it's not gonna let me crop, text. So here I can add any texts I want. It's only going to allow me to add one piece of text that's for the duration of the reel. So I don't wanna make this too complicated. So let's say Fino Beach in the winter, in February. Now I can change how I want it to appear. So you can see here, I can change the alignment of it. I can change the color. I am limited to these colors, but I can change it to any one of these colors. And then I can add a background to it. So it can be dark background or light background or no background. I can also increase the size. And then if I click on it over here, I can actually move it around, which is nice. And I can add multiple texts if I want to. So if I can add another text here and then I'll have full control about that too. And then the trim option. So this is going to allow me to trim each individual clip. So unfortunately it's not letting me preview that one, but I know at the beginning there I have my legs walking. Let's just show a little bit of this one and then let's just show the end part of this one. So now let's play my reel. You can see this. 
and let's go back to create and this is going to show me the full reel so this is going to allow me to preview it that actually is pretty cute i don't actually need a, the last clip after it i think it's cool just to show the beach and then just walking so let's go back to create this is where you can get rid of that last clip and then there we go I can edit my option and then once I'm ready to share I just go here to share and what this is going to do is it's going to allow me to either share now save as a draft so I can decide to edit this later this will only let me um, save to Facebook it won't let me save to drafts for Instagram because that has to be done on my phone or I can schedule them for later so I can decide which day and time it's going to post I can also make it either public or restricted depending on if I want this to be more of a private thing and then I can also not allow people to remix. If you allow them to remix it just means that you allow them to use that reel, share that reel into their reel and then maybe share something else or just share the reel itself. So if you don't want anyone to share your reel just make sure that that is turned off. And then once you're done you have your times you can just schedule and then your reel is going to post by itself. And that's a wrap. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button or better yet, subscribe. If you want to dive deeper, I have an amazing freebie that's going to transform your business. So download that now. And remember, messy action is always better than no action. Till next time. Peace.